Hello, this is RJ Dent in my library. Um, today we're going to be looking at an author, a Norwegian author, by the name of Tarje Vasus. Big influence on me, read him at an early age and um, found that his stories which put the characters in that quite harsh Norwegian environment um, found them to be quite moving and they sort of resonated within me anyway so the first book by um, it's a Norwegian it's actually um, Kaiman it's called uh, which means the seed um, it's in uh, it's in Norwegian I I wanted to have a look at uh, basis in the original so the English version uh, translated by Kenneth Chapman um, just just an opinion not a really good translation but uh, at the moment it's the only version of the seed we've got so the seed by Tarje Vasus an early story uh, we've got a house in the dark um, quite an interesting um, story again talks about the um, Norwegian landscape um, spring night it's a very interesting one here this is um, some youngsters in a house parents away and some strangers turn up looking for help and it's about the dynamics and by the end of the night there have been profound changes very good um, novel uh, the boat in the evening is a collection of um, short pieces short stories some um, poems some observations some sort of journalist pieces all very um, uh, a very nice warm collection actually considering the uh, cold environment that they're um, espousing good good book um, one of my favorites not my absolute favorite but one of them the ice palace about two girls who um, meet and um, exchange confidences and then one of them goes into behind a waterfall I won't give away the story but it's um, a very moving um, moving novel um, made into a film uh, is is Slotet uh, Ice Palace or Palace of Ice um, very hard to get hold of that film now but worth watching very moving moody and atmospheric uh, lovely um, one. now we come to my all-time favorite um, the birds um, I don't know where Peter Owen in England is the publisher of most of um, Tarje Vasus's works um, he's championed him from the beginning he says he thinks the Ice Palace is um, the, probably the best novel he's ever published in one of his interviews uh, but however the birds my personal favorite the first book I ever read of Tarje Vasus is beautiful this cover is absolutely for me evocative and moving and it's a very I don't know it's just um, there's something about that image on the front that really gets to me and the story itself is absolutely incredible really deeply moving story um, yeah that's the birds um, I've also got uh, one quite a hard one to get hold of here I don't, know if you, sorry, I don't know if you can see the cover let me just take that off so that you can actually get to see, see the cover um, the bridges um, of sort of um, a very, again a, a sort of deeply atmospheric story where a friends couple find um, an abandoned baby in the woods incredibly incredibly good story and then I have um, another a large format version of um, the Ice Palace um, with uh, Peter Owen obviously published that and a large format edition of the birds interesting cover but not as anywhere near as good as the other cover and then Kenneth Chapman who as I said earlier on translated a couple of um, Vasus's novels has written a book about him and about his his work it's a study of the novels and stories and poems of Tarjo Vasus and that then is my Tarjo Vasus collection of which I am very proud